If anyone be in Christ, he is a new being. The old is gone. Behold, the new has come. Second Corinthians 5 and 17. My name is Brian Mashikadi. Welcome to this YKZ Life Series. Today I want to read from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 8 and 9. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 8 and 9. It says everything is boring, utterly boring. No one can find any meaning in it. Boring to the eye, boring to the ear. What was will be again. What happened will happen again. There's nothing new on this earth. Year after year it's the same old thing. You see the book of Ecclesiastes is very, very interesting, beloved. And this is written by the wealthy, wise King Solomon and he's writing and imagine he being as wealthy and wise as he was came to such a point as this saying such things he concluded that all of man's work and progress that all the things that man could ever do that man could ever achieve is all the same he says it's like you're stuck in a loop he actually puts it this way it's as if there's absolutely nothing new it's like when um, when we don't have what we think will make our lives better, when we are leaving the small, working up to the big, when we are stuck behind the desk, when you're pushing paper, when you're going to your office every day, when you're bringing up your children, you're coming to church, you're serving in the same ministry, it looks like there's no progress in your life. You're doing the same thing over and over and over again. And that's what he's saying, that everything is boring, utterly boring. No one can find any meaning to it. It is boring to the eye, it is boring to the ear, and he must have, got to very, to, must have gotten to a very difficult point. But I'm, I'm reminded of some words that Bishop Dr. Jimmy Kiwani shared with us the other day. And he said, you see, it is the same when Solomon is saying that everything is boring to the eye. Everything under the sun, there's nothing new. But you see, that's under the sun, the one that gives light up there. But under the sun of God, everything is new. Oh, you get a new life, a new name, a new community. You get a new destination. You get new hope. You get new everything, new strength, new mercies every morning, new everything. So I don't know whether you're just living under the sun, but I sure do hope that you make a decision to continually, perpetually, every day of your life, live not just under the sun, but live under the sun of God. His name is Jesus Christ. The Lord keep you and bless you. See you real soon.